What's up everybody? I'm here with something I wanted to show you guys. I've been working on this for uh, quite a while, a couple months, but finally had some hours this week I could sit down and finish it off. It is a new kicker. Uh, pretty proud of this design, really like it, and I think it's uh, really going to be a hit. Uh, as you can see, the bottom leg style, same kind of dimensions as the TTQB. Traditional kicker top style, obviously a little more realistic body, upper body. Uh, cool thing that I really like about it though is this mechanism here. So it's a spring-loaded mechanism, but the leg is on a hinge and a lever, so it operates a lot like uh, the TTQB does, where you're just kind of pulling it back and then throwing your pass. You know, it's kind of the the inverse of the way that works. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to set up the goalposts. And I'm going to do a couple kicks from some different yardages. Uh, show you an onside kick. One of the cool things about it, you know, by how far you pull back that spring, you can adjust it. So if you want a place kicker that's going to kick it the whole length of the field, you can do that. You want an onside kicker. Uh, you want a punter, you can take up pliers and shorten that spring. I'm going to sell the springs separately as well. So if you want to have a couple different springs for a couple different uh, uses, you can do that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and set it up, do some kicks here, and we'll see how we do. All right, here we go. I'm going to set up. I'm going to do some different kicks. Uh, I'm going to take one shot at a time, one and done, just like it was a game. So I'm not going to do, you know, 20 and show you guys the best ones here. But here we go. I'm also going to try to hold it so you can see the kicker, how it actually functions. So we'll do the first one. We'll just do a 35-yarder. Standard 2x4 board size. So that was good right down the middle. And I've been practicing with this for a couple days now, so it's definitely, when I first started I was not this accurate, but like I said, you develop a technique and uh, you can get really good with it. And it is much more repeatable uh, and consistent than some of the other spring-loaded kickers out there. So this will be a 45-yarder from the 35-yard line. Oh, missed wide right. Let's take that one again. I was kind of holding it funny so you guys could see it in the camera. So that was good right down the middle. Now it's going to bump it back to, uh, I'm going to bump it back to the 55 yard line for a 65 yarder. Let's see how this goes. I mean, it's okay. You can talk to them a little bit. They're just watching. All right, let's see how this goes. This one might go over the top, so. We're over the top, but it was right down the middle. It was good. The other thing, like I said, I really like about it is it is adjustable and you can control how you kick. So if I want to do an onside kick, thanks buddy. I'll try an onside here from the uh, 30 yard line. You know, it's always tough to get that onside kicker that kicks it, you know, that 10 or 15 yards. So I adjust how I put the ball on it, on the foot. So we'll kick from the uh, 35, little angle on it. So that one went to uh, the 48 on the opposite side. So that was about 17 yards. Let's do another one. That one went to the 46. So that was an 11 yarder. But I really like it. Uh, I think you guys are going to like it. Contact me if you're interested. Thanks a lot.